Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to start a poem. That is, you are old, Father William. So first, let me introduce you to the poet. This poem is written by Lewis Carroll. Charles Ludwig Dodgerson, popularly known as Lewis Carroll, was born in 1832 and died in 1898. He is most popular for his novels Alice in the Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. The poem You Are Old Father William is taken from the most popular book Alice Adventures in Wonderland. This poem is a parody of another poem The Old Man's Comfort written by Robert Suthi. a dialogue between father named Father William and son. So this is a conversation between a father and a son. In this poem, Father William is an old man who is doing unusual activities. These activities are not tolerated by his son and he asks different questions to Father William. Through these questions, he wanted to know why he is doing such kind of activities. Now, Father William answers all his questions patiently. When Father William understands that his son is making fun of him, his bridge of patience breaks. And he becomes angry and threatens his son. Now, as I told you, this is a conversation between father and son. In one stanza, the son asks the question. In second stanza, father replies. So this goes on in the whole poem. The tone of the poem, you are old father William, is wit and Humor. humor induces laughter and evokes a feeling of light-heartedness. In life, it is essential to have a bit of humor. In order to strike balance with the sad and serious situations. Now, as I so told you that the tone of this poem is wit and humor. So, let us understand. What is meant by wit? Wit can be defined as keen intelligence or else a natural talent for using words and ideas in quick and amusing ways. Now, what is humor? Humor can be defined as a quality of being amusing. Okay. So, now let's get started with the poem. First, I will read out the stanza and then I will explain it. You are old Father William, the young man said, and your hair has become very white, and yet you incessantly stand on your head. Do you think at your age is it right? Now, in this first stanza, the son asks question to his father. He tells his father that now you have grown old. As you have grown old, uh, your hair has become very white. So you all know that white hair indicates that the person is old. So here, the son says to Father William that your hair has become white and now you have become very old. And at this old age, 
you incessantly means continuously you stand on your head so it is not good for a old man to stand on his head upside down so the son asks uh, father william whether it is right to do such kind of unusual activity at an old age so now let's see what reply is given by his father i'll read the second stanza in my youth father william replied to his son i feared it might injure the brain but now that i am perfectly sure i have none why i do it again and again so now father william replies to his son that in my youth my means who here father william so in uh, his youth when father william was young at that time he was afraid to do such kind of activities to stand on the head because he thought that by doing such activity he might injure his brain father william thought that he might injure his brain but as the days passed father william has become sure that he has none and so that is the reason that he does this activity again and again he stands on his head continuously because now he is sure that he doesn't have any brain so he stands on his head continuously now let's see the third stanza you are old said the youth as i mentioned before and you have grown most uncommonly fat yet you turned a back somersault in at the door pray what is the reason for that now here again the son tells his father that you have become old already i have mentioned that you are old and you have also grown very fat uncommonly fat means so you have grown very fat first of all you are old and also you are very fat and yet you turn a back somersault somersault is an acrobatic movement in which a body rolls round making a complete revolution the son asks his father that as you are old you are very fat then to you may you turn a some back somersault you roll your body so he asks what is the reason for doing this activity in my youth said the sage as he shook his grey locks i kept all my limbs very supple by the use of this ointment one shilling a box allow me to sell you a couple so here again the father william replies gives answer to this question he says that in his youth when he was young your sage means a profoundly wise man so father william a very wise man he shook his locks locks means hair on the head so he shook his hair and he said that when i was young i kept all my limbs supple limbs means arms or legs and supple means flexible so when he was young he kept his limbs flexible by the use of the ointment now he said that he used an ointment the cost of the ointment was 1 shilling a uh, shilling is a british coin it is also uh, the currency of uh, uganda tanzania and uh, one shilling means 100 cents so he said that by using uh, this ointment which cost 1 shilling he had kept his limbs flexible 
So, Father William uh, says that uh, due to the ointment which he had bought for one sheeting, due to the use of that ointment, uh, his limbs, his hands and legs have become flexible. And now here he makes the fun of his son by asking if he wants to buy that ointment so that he can also become more flexible like his father. So this was the explanation which was given by Father William to his son for his second question. I hope you have understood um, this four stanzas. The next part we will see in our next video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.